Hello, everyone. We had a scheduled interview for today, and we're going to be postponing that interview, but I wanted to pop in here anyway to say hello and, uh, and to fill you in on what is going on back in the world of Sapari Group and, and all that kind of stuff and how that relates to you. So I'm Nettie Owens, CEO of the Sapari Group and the founder of the Momentum programs, which you may be familiar with, uh, Momentum Accountability, Insiders, the CEO Network, a range of different things, but that's not what I'm here to talk to you about. What I'm here to talk to you about today is, is the times and opportunities that you take to connect into your network. And the reason that I wanna to talk to you about that today is because having those peer connections and those conversations, those collaborations are really what will ultimately grow your business and sustain you as a person. Uh, by now, I'm sure you figured out that trying to do business alone, you know, isolated in your office is not a great way to go. Uh, besides the fact that uh, it's hard for you as a human being to do all of those things in isolation, um, you are missing out on really amazing opportunities to connect and collaborate with people who could answer the questions, give you support, help refer folks to you. So I'm question, my question for you here today is, who are you connecting with and where are you networking to ensure that you're getting the full picture? This morning, I met uh, with folks in the CEO network. It's a once or twice weekly networking meeting, small group that we have a peer discussion in. And my conversation topic today was trends. And we were talking about the Great Recession, employment, employees, the differences between being a consultant and a business owner, being a contractor, being an employee. And the conversation was really fascinating. Everybody had their own perspective that was colored by their experience from being in corporate or starting their business or being a contractor. And so um, what happened in the conversation was that a couple things, folks saw that they weren't alone in having these feelings. There was some, uh, there was some discussion around how to hire well and what employees are looking for. There was some discussion about the trends and where they're going in this great recession um, and how that's impacting business and the differences between four months ago, five months ago, and now. And everybody walked away with some ideas about what they would implement going forward. Now, mind you, this conversation wasn't intended to be a let's solve all the problems but let's talk as a peer group and understand what's going on and say, you know, what's happening in one of our members was coming in from Croatia. What's happening in normally he's in Oregon, um, in New Jersey, uh, in Maryland, just all over the place, Texas, and how that's impacting work. And one of the big ideas that came out was both an opportunity and a challenge. One, you know, we're noticing that it's harder to find great employees. People are deciding to do different things with their time. They might be deciding to go out on their own as a freelancer or a contractor. And, and so it's harder and harder to find great employees. Um, what that What's happened is people are, you know, kind of reaching out beyond their normal borders to bring people on remotely. And so while it's been harder to find good employees locally, it's been easier to find great employees when you expand your reach. And so as if this is you, if you're looking to bring more people onto your organization, consider hiring virtually if that's an option for you. And where that might lead you is, you know, people outside of your state's borders, outside of your country's borders, perhaps even. Um, I'm curious for you as you're hearing that, you know, have you been exploring that idea of looking beyond your borders to hire? Um, what's come up for you? Has it worked? Hasn't it worked? What are your concerns with that? And, uh, and the reason I'm throwing this out here is because I just want to remind you that these kinds of discussions are super important to be talking to your peers, talking to other um, business owners, business leaders who are having the same challenges to get those ideas out. And it doesn't have to be, you know, uh, a 
a big thing. It doesn't have to be whisked away for, for many days to another location to have this. It can be really just knowing that you're going to pop into this group or having those connections to send a message on Facebook, text, email, where you can say, hey, this is the challenge I'm coming up with. Are you seeing the same thing? How are you confronting it? Uh, and having those relationships to build on. If this sounds great to you, I would invite you to come check out the uh, CEO network. You can do that by following uh, following this link. I wasn't really intending to share this here. Uh, this is a vetted group of peers that come in to discuss whatever might be coming up. We've had a range of different topics, uh, but you can send in an application to see if you would be a good fit if you follow this follow this link here, and I would encourage you to do so. Uh, beyond this, I wanted to, as I said, just come in, check in with you, see what's going on, what's trending in your neck of the woods, what's going on for you, and how are you getting the answers that you need to those questions. Uh, respond here, drop a message, or you know, reach out to me directly. You can find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, on YouTube. If, if, any, if you leave any comments here, I'll be sure to reply and, uh, and we can take the conversation from there. In addition, if you are a business owner, a high achiever, and you feel like there's just some something missing from your secret sauce on how to grow and connect what you're doing to the results that you're hoping for, then I would encourage you to check out how to succeed in business for high achievers. It's going to list out all of the, the, uh, well, the ingredients to that secret sauce so that you can check and see that you have all the parts. Uh, all you have to do is text the word freedom. Just pick up your phone, text the word freedom to 411-321, and, uh, and you will be asked for your email address. We'll send you that, and that's it. Uh, you'll have those resources. If you'd like to reach out to me, you'd have the ability to do so from that point. If you just like to take it and read it, that's an option too. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.